So hello, Aldwin Altene here. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. I know you might be having some mixed feelings right now about what is happening uh, in the world with coronavirus and with all the hysteria that has come with it. And I know that a lot of people are questioning what is happening at the moment and why our freedoms have been so inhibited like they have uh, not just freedom of movement but freedom of information and uh, a lot of videos that have been circulating have been pulled off YouTube have been uh, you know LinkedIn has shut certain people down so people who have alternative viewpoints to the government known as conspiracy theorists are, uh, are there's there's work in place to uh, to shut people down that are questioning what is happening at the moment and uh, you know it's interesting the term conspiracy theorist came out of the cia uh, in the 1950s to mock anyone who spoke against the government isn't that interesting now, I, being a journalist and being in the media for 36 years now, the media experience that I've had, you know, one of the reasons I got into journalism was because I was a stand for freedom of speech and for freedom of information. And one of the very first positions I had in the media was I edited the university newspaper Curio at Canberra University in 1993 that was 93 to 94 and i loved the university press because we really did have freedom of information we had freedom of speech in that and one of the very first stories i wrote was an anti-duck shooting story i couldn't believe that people were shooting ducks for fun and I remember the headline we had was go and get ducked. <laughs> you know, it was it was pretty in your face press. And then, you know, I saw documentaries at the time about female circumcision and I wrote stories about that. We had some very graphic images uh, showing the genital mutilation and how harmful uh, that can be for women. And then I found out about, you know, recycling and the amount of rubbish that we're dumping. And I wrote a story about that. So whatever it was that I was passionate about, I would write a story about it. And similarly now, you know, we have social media now. The last 15 years or so, social media has gone crazy. Uh, and so now there's alternative points of view that are coming out that may not be in line with the mainstream media that we have been fed for years. Now, I saw a fantastic documentary yesterday and it's called Out of Shadows Official. And uh, this is it here on YouTube. This is to, what to look out for, Out of Shadows Official. Um, now, just in the last four days, this has had 4.8 million views on YouTube. And this is what it's about. And I highly recommend you watch this. It's a documentary that lifts the mask on how the mainstream media and Hollywood manipulate and control the masses by spreading propaganda throughout their content. Our goal is to wake up the general public by shedding light on how we all have been lied to and brainwashed by a hidden enemy with a sinister agenda. This project is the result of two years of blood, sweat and tears by a team of woke professionals. It's been independently produced and funded and is available on many different platforms for free for anyone to watch. Patriots made this documentary with the sole purpose of getting the truth out there. If you like the documentary, share the video and you can support the team and future projects by going to outofshadows.org. Org. Now, interestingly, last night I was driving back from Bribey Island from my parents' place through Brisbane and I, I collected a uh, hard drive from one of my videographers there through my, my business, whose name just happens to be Peter, actually. Um, uh, Peter, I was picking up a, a hard drive and I was going, going his place was Albany Creek and I was going past, uh, past uh, down Kelvin Grove um, area where a... Um, an old friend of mine came to mind as I was just uh, just passing through the area, uh, Peter Birrell, the amazing Peter, and I just had a prompting to call him. 
and it was about nine o'clock last night and he had I hadn't spoken to him for quite a few years and he'd, he'd since moved to Wool and Gabber and we caught up last night and interestingly someone sent me the link to Out of Shadows yesterday and I remember thinking when I get home I want to watch Out of Shadows now <laughs> Peter was also onto this and he actually sat me down he said I want you to watch this and he put Out of Shadows on and I was blown away and he had also just mentioned my name to someone that day as well so talk about synchronicity it's amazing so i i urge you if you have a prompting then act on it because i i do believe in divine intervention i do believe in in spirit and higher source energy and i think um, we can tap into that at any time if we choose to uh, so peter it was fantastic catching up i think i just saw you come on to this uh live which is which is great so if you are on here feel free to um to pop something in the chat uh, yeah, so it's amazing the information going around. And, you know, what, what is interesting now is that there's a lot of people that are seeking questions to things. They are, you know, I, I believe there is a hidden agenda with what's going on. I do believe it's about forcing vaccinations on people, uh, which is, of course, a hugely profitable thing um, that Bill Gates is involved with. Uh, he's now left Microsoft. Um to uh to be a stand for humanity apparently uh so bill gates is involved in in this and a whole lot of other people uh pushing for vaccinations mandatory vaccinations uh across the world also there's um the push for a, a one world currency as well i believe to to be a cashless society uh, of course we're we're being led to believe now that um that you know can you can get germs from cash right um and then there's social distancing which i don't think is healthy for people either i think we need touch we need connection and, uh, we, you know, we're becoming more and more addicted to our devices now as we're all being socially isolated uh, with these rules. And, you know, I went to Bunnings today and, and you know, they were only letting in certain certain numbers of people at a time into Bunnings and it was quite a big queue to actually get in because you had to wait for people to leave before you could get in, you know, just like the nightclub queues in the old days. Uh, this is what Bunnings was like today. And, you know, people people are just looking at you like you're diseased even when you're not diseased. Like it's really quite crazy what's happening out there. And I really want to encourage you today to actually just be kind to others. Look, you know, whether or not you agree with what I say or you agree with what the mainstream media says or whatever, uh, whatever your opinions are you know you don't need to be rude to other people okay just just be kind you know spread spread love okay love not fear you're either going to come from fear or love and the powers that be as we know have been trying to have people live in fear for, for a long time because it's it's divide and rule and you know they can control people with fear but if we come from a loving space and we actually, you know, question things, it don't, doesn't mean, you know, get depressed by what you're finding with this information that we're, we're learning about. It's actually just opening your mind and being open to an alternative point of view. Be open to an alternative point of view. And you don't need to be rude to others if you don't agree with them on social media, in person or in any other way. You know, we are all human beings and as human beings we can choose to be kind or we can choose to be nasty or we can choose to lie or we can choose to tell the truth and you know what is the truth well this documentary is a very interesting because you know how we form our opinions of what the truth is uh you know starts from from school days right it starts from the people we trust and uh you know it really is fascinating uh out of the shadows out of shadows official highly recommend check it out uh amazing documentary and i congratulate the people that uh that made this documentary it really is re fantastically done and you know nearly five million views in four days that's that's pretty amazing uh, now the london real interview recently um with brian rose and david ike now that hit you know five million views very quickly as well and then it was taken down off YouTube, then it was taken down off uh, LinkedIn. Now it's been very interesting to watch that. And, you know, David Icke, 20 years ago, you know, he was he was ridiculed and, and mocked a lot for what he was talking about. And, in fact, I interviewed him on my show Truth Expose TV on, on Media Queen TV on YouTube. I interviewed David Icke three years ago and he said that he saw a psychic 20 years ago who told him that he would reveal great secrets to the world. And he said, you know, bits of information started to come together for him like pieces of a puzzle. 
uh, started to come together and uh, and he started to put it together. And, you know, he was speaking to 20 people 20 years ago. Now he's got hundreds of thousands of, you know, millions of followers worldwide who are starting to uh, to believe uh, some alternative views to to what we've been fed by the mainstream media. Uh, now, 9-11, you know, a friend of mine said a few years ago, you know 9-11 was an inside job. And I said, what do you mean? You know, it doesn't make sense. Why would a government do something like that to its own people? It just did not make sense. It was very hard to get my head around. However, I started to research. I looked online and started to look at all this information that was not in the mainstream media and started to open my mind to other possibilities. Now, I'm not saying that what I saw on Google is correct, that how do we know what we're seeing in the mainstream media is correct. I mean, I just use my logic. What makes logical sense to me, I will believe, right? So, you know, if it, it and, and really there's generally a hidden agenda with things. Now, we know the war on terror started as a result of 9-11. And what's happening right now, we're being pushed for vaccinations, right? We're being pushed to socially isolate, total destruction of the economy. And, you know, to lift that back up again, let's just see, you know, what the powers that be are going to enforce uh, on us. There's a great uh, documentary also, a great little cartoon on, on YouTube called The Tiny Dot. And it talks about the, uh, you know, the global elite. It's, it's got all these dots and, you know, the global elite is like a tiny dot. And then the masses of the American population is huge. Like really the, the masses of people is huge compared to the few powers that be. Yet the powers that be have people living in fear because if you speak out against them, like Julian, you know, Julian Assange re revealed some some truths. And what do they do? They lock him up. I mean, why should there be any any information by government that is secret? What, like, I, I just don't get that. We, we're, we're paying for the governments to be in control. Uh, they're meant to be looking after our interests, and yet they're they're allowed to have private information you know that's that's uh that's not visible to the public and then to actually incriminate people who reveal that information i just think that's so wrong and uh, what's happened to julian assange is disgusting and uh you know i think i think it's time that we come together as a community and actually say enough is enough and you know be a stand for truth and for freedom of speech and freedom of information uh, and actually come from a loving space while we're doing it, right? Don't come from fear. And David Icke says the same thing. You know, at the end of his 12-hour talk that he did in Brisbane a few years ago, there were thousands of people there. At the end of it, he said, come from love. Don't come from fear. Just be aware of what's going on. Don't let it consume you. Don't get, don't freak out about it. Just understand what's going on, and then you can make an informed decision as to, uh, you know, how you're going to move forward. And... Um, now, uh, oh, Jessica, hello. What was the second one? Um, the second one. Uh, okay, I'm not sure what second one you're talking about there. Um, out of the shadows showed a different view. Okay, so you didn't like it, Jessica. All right, interesting. Uh, they never had our interests at the fore, Matthew. Uh, yeah, well, look, we've all got different opinions on things. I personally love the documentary and, you know, sometimes we don't want to believe things because it can be, hard to believe it can be uh you know it can be something we don't want to believe uh you know i love movies personally but there's a lot of uh you know a lot of violence in movies you know i don't think naturally that um you know that that life needs to be so violent and so mad i think you know essentially we are loving beings and we can choose love over fear at any moment now, I hopped on uh, Two Day FM uh, last night, national radio, at actually 4.30 this morning. I was up uh, watching, watching a whole lot of uh, videos going down the rabbit hole of um, some alternative views to the mainstream media that are online. And uh, I hopped on there and I spoke my mind. They, they said, you know, call in and speak your mind about whatever it is you want to talk about. And so I went on and I spoke about that I thought there were hidden agendas and I think it's a push for mass vaccinations and one world currency system. And uh, the host was not very impressed with this. He didn't like that idea and he thought it was, uh, he thought it was a bit crazy and he thought it was very dangerous to have these points of views. And um, yet he did question, he did say, oh, I'm not sure about JFK. He said, you know, he said, oh, people, you know, they did walk on the moon, <laughs> you know, um, people saying that, that the moon, la moon landing didn't happen. 
and some people are saying it did happen. Some people are saying global warming isn't a real thing. Others are saying it is a real thing. Well, what's your opinion if you're watching this? I would love to hear your opinion. And, hey, we can live in a world where we're entitled to our own opinions, okay? And how we form those opinions, I think Out of Shadows does a great job in explaining how we form our opinions and uh, personally, I like to research. I like to look at different articles, look at different videos, look at different researchers, look at science, look at all sorts of things to find information. And really, at the end of the day, how do you know that anything is true, really? How do you know? Do you really know the whole truth and nothing but the truth? So help us God with anything. Do you really? Hey, I don't know. Do you? How can you really know the truth? You can know your truth. I mean, I'm all about making a stand for speaking your truth. And whatever it is that's true to you and whatever you feel that you want to express, express it. Just be kind, okay? Be kind to others. You, you don't need to be nasty. And I found, you know, there's been a whole lot of trolls coming on some of my posts lately um, that have been really, really nasty. And there's just no point, no, no reason for it. Um, and of course, you know, I just delete those comments and I block those people because, you know, there's no need for it. You know, you can, you're welcome to express your opinion, go for it. Just do it in a polite way and be courteous, just as you would like people to treat you, right? Treat others as you would like to be treated. Good to see you, Steve. Uh, Steve, great guy. Um, I know we're on the same page. Hello, Nicole. Good to see you there. Great to see. Okay. Alan, hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, interesting. I will share the link for Out of Shadows in the in the chat. I see some of you are interested in that. Uh, I'm quite amazed. Five million views in four days. That's, that's pretty amazing. I think people are starting to wake up to alternative points of view and uh, consider that there could be hidden agendas at play with what is going on. Uh, personally, I think right now is a great time for you to be focusing on your health and uh, particularly, you know, something I do is I go to the beach. I love swimming in the ocean and uh, I, you know, I think exercise is great. We're allowed to get out for exercise at the moment, right? So get some exercise, get some sunshine, get some vitamin D, eat well, eat raw fruit and vegetables as much as possible. Uh, clean water, filtered water is really important. You know, if you look at the, the longest living cultures on earth, you will see that these are some things they did. It's very simple to be healthy and build your immune system uh, so that, you know, you, you don't contract COVID or anything else. And, you know, and then there's the figures around COVID, right? Uh, there's still, from what I see, a lot more people have died of the common flu and are dying of the common flu than of COVID. And uh, there's all sorts of incentives, apparently, I've been seeing incentives for for hospitals to to mark death cases as COVID when they may not actually be COVID. The people might be dying of other issues because a lot of people have uh, over 80% have low immune systems that are dying of this COVID apparently. Um, and there's, uh, there's incentives for people to actually call it COVID and not to call it dying of other causes. So these figures that we're hearing about may not necessarily be true. So do your own research. I highly, highly, highly encourage you to do your own research with this. Uh, don't believe what I'm saying. Don't believe what the mass media is saying. Uh, just do your own research and make your own logical, informed decision about what you think is happening now and how you can best protect yourself and arm yourself so that you can move forward in a loving way and uh, with integrity you know and with with truth with truth i think the world is looking for authenticity and truth now and i was just searching last night the number of facebook groups the number of uh, different media outlets now that are a stand for truth it is fantastic to see truth in media is another great one i saw uh, the other day they they had some fantastic stuff out so there's there's a lot of alternative media now that are starting to show other points of view to what we're hearing in mainstream TV or radio or print. And uh, I just suggest while you're doing all your research, keep an open mind, come from a loving space, uh, even though some people that rule the world may not be so loving and might be cruel. You know, if you kind of think of, you know, being 
taking on being like whether you believe in Christianity or Jesus or not, the story of Jesus, I often think, you know, imagine if you could be like Jesus in that with people throwing rocks at you, you know, when he's going off to be crucified, we've just come out of Easter, this is a perfect time to talk about this, uh, you know, people are throwing things at him and, and treating him so badly and he's carrying that cross and then they nail him to the cross and the whole time he remains peaceful, calm, and he says, forgive them, they know not what they do. Imagine if you could have that kind of humility that no matter what people were throwing at you, no matter what crap people were giving you, no matter how nasty they were being, that you could come from that loving space. How powerful would that be? So whether you believe in Jesus or not, or the story, I just think the story of Jesus is amazing. And I, you know, I think if we could take on that kind of power, you know, like in the Karate Kid, that, you know, that inner power uh, that we all have, you know, to to withstand all sorts of hardship. And I think we need to draw on some of that now during this time because I know COVID has really thrown a lot of people into a spin. Um, we've been forced to um, stay at home mostly pretty much stay at home unless you have good reason to go out. So our freedoms are being impinged on every single day at the moment and it seems to be getting worse for a while until it gets better. So, uh, yes, that's my big message is do your own research, question everything. Um, now, I do help people get publicity and uh, I help people get their message out in the media and actually COVID is a great time to get your message out in the media. I worked with Dr. Mia Janjua recently. We put a press release out saying fear of COVID is making people sick and simple ways people can boost their immune system. Now, Andrew Komenos, I've been working with him. He's known as the sales superhero from Brisbane. And we put a press release out saying simple ways businesses can stay in business, uh, otherwise they will die. You need to pivot in business now. You need to do more online. You need to shift with the times if you're going to stay in business during these current current times. Uh, so we put a press release out saying some of that information. So this is the kind of thing you can actually piggyback off the whole COVID, uh, the COVID thing at the moment and actually give an alternate angle and you know one thing i'm really passionate about is getting more good news stories out in the mass media to help decrease depression and suicide rates in the community you know worldwide there's about a million people that take their own lives worldwide i've personally had depression and i've had four friends take their own lives by the the age of 45 which is tragic because they're all amazing people and it only takes one dark moment for people to want to do that. However, I believe if we shift the messages that we put into our mind and the messages we tell ourselves, you know, no matter what's going on out there, there's always something that you can be grateful for. You know, when I go into the ocean, I go under the waves, you know, I think about what I'm grateful for. And, you know, today I was in there and I, and I said, I'm grateful for my health. I'm grateful to live on the Gold Coast. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for social media that we can share these messages. You know, what are you grateful for if you're watching this? What are you grateful for? It's, it's so easy to, to whinge about things. <laughs> you know, it's so easy to get in whinge mode and, and you know, and, and be nasty. And it's just, it's not necessary just be kind okay be kind to each other let's support each other through this and you know let's let's share some alternative information and be open to other points of view uh why not otherwise you know you can just bury your head in the sand and be brainwashed like like most of the people watching mainstream media are being brainwashed and not realizing they're being brainwashed by just believing one point of view so have a look at for some alternative points of view do your own research have a look at out of, out of the shadows fantastic uh, documentary and come and join me if you'd like on my free webinar tomorrow night how to gain free publicity during COVID uh, I'm going to be doing a great webinar I did one last week it was about 30 people on from all over the world I had amazing feedback which was really nice and it was so good to connect with people online in that way so if you'd like to join me just come to Mass Media Tribe I'll put the link as well in the chat Mass Media Tribe, there's a group on Facebook and a group on Meetup, Mass Media Tribe. And you can also follow me on Eventbrite. So if you've got Alderman Alton A on Eventbrite, you can see all my upcoming events. I've got some workshops coming up as well. I'll be doing half day workshops as well on Zoom. Uh, so uh, and, and other things as well coming up. So I am all about 
speaking your truth and also questioning everything. And if you have a prompting to share something, then share it. Just be polite, be kind to others, be kind to yourself because hurt people hurt people too. That's the other thing to remember, right? Hurt people hurt people. So if someone's being nasty to you right now, they're possibly hurting. So send them some love, send them some compassion, send them love because they probably need it. They're probably stressing or whatever's going on for them, which is just going to cause dis-ease in the body. It's going to make them physically sick if they carry on like that. Uh, so I uh, I recommend that you, you send out lots of love and kindness and do your research, open your mind, expand your consciousness, and together let's all help each other through this crisis uh, because at the end of the day there's always something we can be grateful for and things can certainly be a lot worse. So while we're here, while we have the dash of life happening, and the dash is a great poem too if you haven't seen that, the dash between our time of birth and our time of death. That's what we have. We just have that little dash. So while we have that dash of life, let's make the most of it. Let's let's speak our truth. Let's do what you love. You know, do what makes you happy, whether it's cooking or, you know, hanging around family or whatever it is, you know, being creative. Artwork is really good at this time. Poetry, music, you know, remember to have fun amidst all the crisis and craziness have some fun with your life and enjoy and appreciate the miracle that you are as a human being. You know, we are one in a billion just by being born. You are a miracle of life. You may not realize it. I know for a long time I didn't realize it, but you are. So step into that and be that. Getting emotional now. Be that. Be the extraordinary person you are. Step into that and share that with the world because the world is waiting to hear your message and you have an X factor story. You are the only one with your story. And if you're the world's best kept secret right now, maybe it's time that you spoke up, stood up, spoke up, time to be heard, time to be seen. Oh, I'm going to look at some of these comments here. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, Alan's saying, interesting how many people in the US, UK, Australia are feeling the same. Yeah. Uh, okay, Matthew, happy to share a link which highlights Gates' connection to ID 2020, which is chilling. Wow. Okay, yes, please share that. Hi, John. Nice to see you. Uh, the language is that people are dying with COVID. Okay, interesting. Uh, yes, freedom of speech is important despite the rampant censorship we're seeing even on YouTube. That's true. Uh Okay, Alan, I have a book coming out in June. Need to get that out there. Well, Alan, you would love my webinar, How to Gain Free Publicity with COVID-19, during COVID-19, which is happening tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. It goes for an hour and a half. Be live. I'm doing question and answer at the end. Um, and then I have another one the following week. So uh, just hop on Mass Media Tribe. I'll put the links here or just, just search it in Facebook mass media tribe join that look at events and you'll see all the upcoming events you'll get a lot out of that if you've got a book coming out in june there's lots of ways you can promote that bruce lipton spoke about this recently too interesting melissa it's so hard my son can't build up his immune system oh wow okay i'm just trying to keep him positive he's struggling i'm sorry to hear that melissa uh, can't build up his immune system. Well, you know, as a mother, maybe you could help get some good food into him, you know, get some get some good raw fruit and veggies into him. Uh, you know, just, just try to eat as healthy as you can, drink, you know, filtered water. You don't want chlorine or fluoride into your body at all. That's poison, that stuff. Uh, so filter, filter your water. Make sure you have good, clean water. Uh, get out amongst nature, even just grounding yourself, you know, getting out and just putting your feet in the in the ground in the grass or in the in the sand it's part of why i love the ocean so much um you know make sure that you you get out and um and appreciate how beautiful life is get into gratitude you know when i felt depressed or you know i got sick earlier this year with uh, tonsillitis i was in namia and ended up in hospital and i went through a depression early this year and to pull myself out i had to remind myself that things can always be worse Things can always be worse. So what can you be grateful for? You know, pull yourself out and just remind yourself, what can you be grateful for? Look in the mirror and say, I love you. You know, you're there with yourself from the beginning of your life and you'll be there with yourself at the end of your life. So it's important to, to love who you are and love the journey, love the skin you're in, love, love the gift that you have been given of life and make the most of that. 
we have a lot to be grateful for. Yes, Melissa. Uh, we all have the virus within our bodies, but only grows in the right environment. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, that's what I've heard too, that we all have coronavirus in our bodies, even if we're perfectly healthy. Um, so the COVID-19 is a whole other ball game. Uh, thanks for your effort, energy, kind thoughts and leadership and experience superstar. Thank you, Ma Matthew. That's really sweet. Thank you. Thank you for putting those links in there. Melissa, I'm giving him a healthy diet. He's on medication every 12 hours to stay alive. Wow, I wonder what sort of medication he's on. See, this is another thing. There's a lot of side effects with these medications. I mean, I don't know what he's on, but personally, you know, I, tr I try and avoid medications at all costs personally. Uh, you know, we know that the big pharma has lots of vested interests in, um, uh, in feeding people drugs. And, uh, you know, I think our bodies are so powerful in being able to heal ourselves. You know, I, I did a Tyler Tolman course uh, recently and I've done Don Tolman's course too, his father's course, and that's that's all about whole food eating. And he has a Heal Thyself program. And, you know, he's seen people heal themselves of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, you know, all through changing diet, things like fasting, intermittent fasting is really powerful. Uh, do your own research, of course, but Tyler Tolman is amazing, some of his uh, teachings. Uh, T-Y-L-E-R, Tolman and Don Tolman. Um, and, you know, it's just coming back to whole food eating, you know, how nature intended. We, we've, anything in a packet generally will have some toxic crap in it, right? So you want to avoid packet food as much as possible. The fastest food out there is fresh fruit and vegetables, okay? The far, just go pick an apple off a tree, right? So I would also suggest to get your home gardens happening now as well if you've got a garden or even do a little, you know, balcony garden or, you know, whatever you've got, just start to get your home veggies going and uh, start to look at being self-sufficient uh, in case things get worse from here in that regard. Oh, kidney transplant. Oh, wow, Melissa, gosh. Yeah, okay, well, that's that's a tough one. And look, there's a place for medicine. There's a there's a place for for doctors. Uh, I'm not saying it's it's all bad. Um, I mean, I, I was in hospital with, with tonsillitis. So they put me on the antibiotic drip. They put me on penicillin. After three days of being in bed and I could barely talk, um, I got penicillin and... Um, and then I started reacting to that. My whole, my lips swelled up. I had cold sores pop up. So that was the side effect of the penicillin. So while it helped my throat, it actually came out in, in another way. And even now it hasn't fully recovered. You can see a little little mark here under my lip. It still hasn't, this is months later. It's three months later and it hasn't fully recovered. So this is a side effect of the antibiotics in hospital. In saying that, the antibiotics did help my tonsils. So moving forward, I'm making sure that I take probiotics and take lots of vitamin tablets and, and things like that. I'm, you know, putting putting all the good stuff back into me because, of course, antibiotics kill all the good and bad bacteria in your body. So you need to make sure you build your immune system up again with the right things. Um Okay, so Fall of the Cable is a good documentary also. Oh, great, Alan. Well, if you have the link to that, please feel free to pop any of those links in here. Any interesting links that you have would be great. Um, Melissa, he was born with both kidneys small and not formed properly. Wow, okay. Wow, that's, um, yeah, that's that's hard. But, you know, thankfully he has kidneys, right? I mean, I guess it could be worse. He could have no kidneys. Uh, or maybe if you have no kidneys, you're not around. But, uh, you know, I mean, things can always be worse. So let's look at it this way is just send, give him lots of love. Uh, you know, it's amazing how healing love can be um, and and just be there for him and, you know, help him build his immune system as much as you can, I would suggest, with uh, not that I'm any, you know, health professional. I'm just sharing some things I've learned over time. Um, but, uh, yeah, absolutely. Track down a good source of prebiotics too. Yeah, thank you, Matthew. Yeah, that's a good idea too, uh, prebiotics. Isn't this great how interactive this is? I feel like you're all here right with me. It's amazing. Oh, dear. Anyway, um, look, I really wish you all the best. I'm sending you lots of love. There's a reason you're on this, uh, this live right now. And he has his dad's kidney now. Wow. Okay. Gosh, Melissa, gosh, there's a story there with your son. Amazing. He's obviously a fighter. He's obviously a fighter. He's sounds like he's been through a hell of a journey. Uh, CMOS is great. Oh, okay. Long chain polysaccharides. Okay. Oh, there you go. Great. Good information. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sharing. That's that's awesome. And what are you grateful for? Please pop in there. What are you grateful for today? What are you grateful for? And how are you going to spread love? 
with those around you? How are you going to spread the love during this COVID crisis when I think people need love more than ever? I think a lot of people are panicking, they're getting angry with others, they're attacking others, etc. You know, maybe because they're not happy with themselves for some reason. Uh, and there's no need for it. Okay, so let's just be kind, <laughs> be kind to yourself, be kind to others. If you want to share your message and put yourself out there and uh, make a statement during all of this and gain some free publicity, then please join me Mass Media Tribe once again on Facebook and Meetup and also on Eventbrite. You can hop on there. All my events are listed. Now you will need to register. I'll need your email address so we can send you the link to join on Zoom tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for an hour and a half. So make sure that uh, that you do register on Eventbrite and say you're going also on the, the Facebook event, uh, which I've also shared on my page. Um, a mass media tribe is a tribe of people who I am a stand for sharing their truth. So it's sharing their truth, sharing good news, lifting people's spirits with more good news in the community. And any negative can be turned into a positive, okay? So just remember that too. There's always a silver lining, okay? There's always a, a breakthrough at the end of every breakdown. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel, even if you may not see it just now. There always is and that's why I think right now is a great time while you've got time at home is to do research and get educated and, and expand your consciousness, expand your mind uh, because I think uh, a lot of people out there are walking around like it's like the walking dead out there sometimes. It's like seeing a whole lot of zombies out there. I, I don't like to see that with my fellow man, my fellow mankind and womankind. You know, I like to see people alive, loving their life, uh, enjoying enjoying their lives i do have another group actually called loving life you can have a look at that too and come and join us there i uh, really i really just want to say that i am so grateful for you i'm grateful for my life i'm grateful that i live on the gold coast grateful for the ocean grateful for my beautiful parents and family all over the world and i'm i'm so grateful that i do what i love and you know it's not always easy sometimes you know it takes something and in fact being in business is one of the hardest things that you'll ever do it can be very very challenging in saying that if you love what you do you never have to work another day in your life they say right so the flow happens just like i'm flowing right now as i'm speaking to you flow happens when you love what you do and love what you do and the money will come so don't stress about the money you know money is just a tool to you know enable you to do different things give you more choices um at the end of the day you know what's really important i think is who you are in life and how you're being and you know being truthful being kind being a good person you know i think that is really important i think it's really important to uh, to speak your truth if you're not speaking your truth you could be speaking a lie you could be living a lie it could be a little white lie if it's you know if you're not speaking your truth if you have a prompting to do something to take action to shift something that's happening out there in the world and you're not doing it then you are playing a small game so i suggest lift your game time to step up step up there's a lot of opportunities now to go online and to to co-create and collaborate online and connect with people all over the world now uh, with technology and i'm so grateful for technology for all the social media channels for all the independent news out there the alternative news channels and i would say i'm an alternative journalist i you know i do like to um to dig into controversy and i like to i like to have a look at the um all sides of the story and uh, you know i certainly don't know it all but i am a, a constant inquisitor and i will keep questioning I encourage you to do the same. Keep questioning things and uh, just see just see what you think makes logical sense to you as you're as you're doing your research. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on how you go with that. So um, please keep me posted. Come and join me at Mass Media Tribe. I will go now. Thank you for all your comments and and uh, make sure that uh, any any interesting stuff you've got, feel free to put it in the comments so we can all share share the love, <laughs> share the love, share the love and share the links. Okay, <laughs> share the love and the links. All right. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. We had Speakers Tribe Queensland tonight too, which Melissa was on. And we did our first online meeting with Speakers Tribe Queensland, so that was a whole lot of fun too. And uh, Sam Cawthorn's amazing in Sydney. Very grateful for Sam for starting Speakers Tribe and Speakers Institute. 
and uh, for my fellow leaders, for the fellow uh, Speakers Tribe Queensland leaders, we have Karen, Grace and Luke, uh, did amazing. And uh, for everyone who came on, we had about 20 people or so on the live Zoom today from all over the world as well. So that was uh, that was fantastic. So reach out if you've got anything you want to ask me, any questions, anything like that, you can pop it in the chat or private message me. If you've got anything you want to share or, you know, are you okay? Are you doing okay? You know, if you just want to want to chat sometime, if you're feeling lonely or whatever, just reach out. Um, you know, it doesn't need to be that way. There, there is always, there's always people who can support you, you know, like the are you okay day, right? There's always people who can, uh, who can be there for you. And I think most importantly, be there for yourself as well. You know, you you are your own best friend. You can be your own best friend. I think it's important, you know, that you fill your own cup up first so that you can help people with the overflow. So you, you do need to um, look after yourself as much as you look after others out there as well and do what you love. So here's to you uh, living an extraordinary life, no matter what crap is happening around you on the outside, such as COVID-19, no matter what's going on, you can choose to live an amazing life and be happy day by day and be grateful day by day and moment by moment, moment by moment, in every moment, you can choose moments of gratitude and love. So uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you to uh, to all of you and and thank you to uh, to everyone in my life. I'm very grateful for all of you and and grateful for the amazing opportunities that, that we have now to speak up, speak up and share and share our truth and to learn to learn through the internet. I remember once upon a time we had Encyclopedia Britannicas, right? <laughs> that was where we got our information from. And then TV came along around 1950s, right? So it's it's amazing how fast technology has changed in that time and um, it's it's absolutely amazing. It's the information superhighway. Uh, so there's, uh, there's lots of um, reasons to expand the mind now. There's lots of opportunities for that. So I encourage you to do that shine bright the world needs you absolutely melissa shine bright the world needs you love that and uh yeah i often say to people shine your light bright and light up all those around you you know you you just never know who you can impact on a day-to-day -day basis with what you do uh, you know i i went to the funeral of um one of my friends that took her own life, a 31 year old, and you know, she had 300 people at her funeral. She was a communications manager at the Gold Coast Airport. airport. Her name was Cassandra Dalziel, going back quite a few years now. And 300 people at her funeral, like I'm sure she had no idea how many people she touched. And that was just the people that showed up at the funeral, yet alone all, you know, the other friends I had that took their own life, you know, they were all extraordinary people. And, you know, it was absolutely tragic. However, at the same time, that was their choice, right? So I guess if, you know, if they, if they want to end their life, they end their life. I mean, you know, who knows what happens after here? What do you think happens after we die? Where do we go? What happens? Apparently our bodies do go lighter the minute we die. It goes lighter. So I do believe we have a soul that goes somewhere. Um, and I guess we won't really know until we die i guess um so anyway i don't want to get morbid but all i'm saying is that every day you can impact someone around you and um and i think uh i think that's a great gift it's a great gift to be able to to share the love with others and <laughs> share the love and be the light and you are the light you in your body the way the, the body works you have light within you so shine bright and um and remember to speak your truth, speak your truth, be the best version of you and you will then create a better world around you, I believe. Be the lighthouse. Yes, very nice, Melissa. I like that. Be the lighthouse. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to wrap up now. Otherwise, I'll be talking here for ages. <laughs> and uh, time is ticking. I've got things to do for tomorrow. So I uh, look forward to seeing you. Hopefully, some of you on my How to Gain Free Publicity During COVID-19 webinar tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Join me at Mass Media Tribe on Facebook and Meetup and also Eventbrite. And have a beautiful night or day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.